Hello and welcome back in a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create Discord buttons and it's updated because after I made the last video it got over 5k views and over 200 likes and then the dislikes start going and didn't know why and then I saw someone commenting not working. So uh, I checked uh, the update and I found out that there is a new update for the package so I decided to make a video about it. So now, let's hope into the video. Alright, so here are the package uh, documentations. I'll be leaving the link for it in the description. Alright, so we want to install it like this, so I'm going to press copy, but I want to put over here, alright, at latest, alright, make sure that you have at latest, npmi discord buttons at latest, and enter. It should install us the discord buttons package, the latest version, alright, and if you found three moderate serve it like the thing is not like a problem you can just do like this it's not a big problem anyways let's get into the documentation real quick because I I have a short time to record but I will try to make it uh, like the best thing I can do all right so here you see examples about that uh, like package Let's check the setup and install. So, already installed it. So, here, how to define it? You must install Discord.js version plus 12 or 12. Alright, make sure that you have that. So, now it says that I need to do that in my main file. So, let me go to my index. Here, I will put this require discord buttons and i need to put here my discord.js client what is my discord.js client is this line do you see the discord.client so i'm gonna keep it like this client all right you need to make sure that it's just there required so let's see other examples here so to define it Alright, you can do like this, extracting it from the package, uh, like, easily. So now let's send a button. How to send a button? Here we got some examples, alright. So if I want to send one button, this is like this, multiple ones, one with an embed. I'll be covering everything in this video. So, I will make the same idea as the old one I did, alright. So, first of all, I'm gonna need to go to commands and I want to create a new file and I will name it smart.js. Alright, so I'm gonna just put the command handler here, name this smart. So, here I want to get the message button. Alright, it will be the same way as making an embed. Alright, if you know how to make an embed, you can know, like, you can make this easily. All right, so equal require discord buttons. All right, so here I want to first create an embed. So const const embed equal new discord dot message embed embed. All right. I'll just set the title to like title are you smart all right and that's an embed all right I'll just set the color as well to blue all right and I want to create two buttons one saying yes and one saying no all right so I'm going to const uh, yes equal or let's say button one equal new a message button all right as you can see it's just the same as an embed message button so i'm gonna put here some stuff let me show you 
message button. So we got here a new method uh, dot set emoji to put an emoji in, uh, in the button. So I will explain everything from those. So first of all, I want to define the style. So the style. Let me show you all the available styles there. Uh, it was somewhere over here. So let's just check for it real quick. Uh, where, where, where? An example is probably. You up here in examples. So set style, it's gonna be uh, red, green, blurple, gray, or URL. That's all the available styles, alright? So I won't set the yes as green, alright? So I'm gonna put here green. And then set label. Label means the thing that is gonna be wrote on the button. So I'm gonna be yes. And then set ID. Each button has his own ID, alright? Make sure that each button has ID, else you'll get an error, alright? Because the ID defines the button if you want to edit it later. So I'm gonna put 1 as the ID of this button, alright? So, now I want to create the other button, alright? That's gonna basically be uh, the no button, so... I'm gonna just copy this, paste it over here, name it 2, and make it the color red, and yes, it's gonna be no, and the ID is gonna be 2. Alright, now I want to send all of those, so I'm gonna put message.channel.send, I want to also say something like hello, alright? So let me go here back to uh, message button. Uh, or send button so now I'm gonna say hello alright and a comma and then I'll put brackets alright easy to understand Bracket. if you don't want hello you can just remove it and remove the comma as well if I want to send one button only let me show you how to send one button so I'm gonna put button one let's check this alright Turbot is online, if I did smart, as you can see, hello, that's for one button. What if I want to send one button with an embed, or two buttons with an embed? So, I'll need to make something that is component, alright, or I'm like, I'm a component, so, or I, I don't really know if I said that right, but... We need to extract from here message action row, alright? So let me explain what is that. First, let's just make it the same as an embed as I said before, alright? So I'm gonna put here uh, yes equal new message uh, action row, alright? I want to add component here. Alright, it's gonna be button one. Alright, oops, what did I mean to put it here? Button one. I want to add another one that's gonna be button two. Alright, so here, after I did that, I will do embed to point and I put the embed name. Alright, because I want to send an embed with uh, two buttons. What if I want to send multiple embeds, I'll just put here embeds, and then put here embed1, embed2, alright, like that. If it is only one embed, I will just put embed and put here the name of the embed, alright? So the name is embed. Okay, now I'll put a comma, and then here I'll put the message action row. So I'm gonna put component. Ah, I forgot how to say that. Let me just here. All right, and then I'll put here the yes because it is the only one we have. All right. So let's now test this and look and take a look on how it will look like. All right. So if I do smart now, 
as you can see it looked like this but I got some uh, or a couple of comments saying how do I make the no under the yes so that's pretty easy the message action row it means in one line or in one row it's gonna be how many buttons so I'm just gonna create two all right the first one gonna have yes the second one gonna have no so here it's gonna be yes this is gonna be no and it only have that so in this case i will need to put here components all right and add here yes and no all right now if i reload both buttons should be under each other's all right so let's check smart as you can see it is under it so now if i pressed on the button nothing will happen actually I'm gonna just say interaction failed all right as you can see nothing really happens so we want to like we want something to happen and that requires a um, event all right so there's a lot of stuff here like you can create a collector if you want to but we're gonna just create a event that is click button all right so i'm gonna copy this here as you can see go to index and i'll put over here the event with a capital C for me all right and I need to require here the message button all right and the message action row equal require discord buttons neat all right so now i want to check maybe who clicked the button so there is here some examples you can check it out but we're not really interested in this we want to know or to make functions for those buttons so when someone press on them it actually work so uh, here you want to say if the button dot id so if the id of the button is equal equal to one and as i said before one is button one here so the id of it is the yes one right so one I, I want to do something first of all i want to do button dot defer or let's not put this let me just explain it later to understand faster so if it is this i want to uh maybe do something like mess button dot message dot edit i guess it's like this i want to edit it all right to another embed with a url with a button url style that redirects to my channel all right so i'm gonna put it over here uh const embed equal new discord oops discord dot message embed all right and i'm gonna set a title here that's going to be neat all right and then set description all right oh all right you know what to do all right as an example and set the color to green all right and i want to create a button so a button with the url so my channel let's say here name it channel equal new uh message button i'm gonna set the style to url i'm gonna set the label to subscribe all right and i'm gonna set the color or uh, there is already a color i thought of them but anyways i'm gonna just put here uh set label white url all right a set id i mean sorry so i'm gonna edit it. i'm gonna put those as well as i said and first of all embed all right embed is gonna be this embed and the button so it's gonna be not button as the old update it's gonna be component component 
right? Okay, my bad English shows up right now. How do I type that? So I'm gonna put here channel. All right. So now you're gonna send the, I'm gonna edit the message to this if I pressed on button one. Let's check it out. So no dot. Now if I pressed on no, it's gonna say interaction field. Let me just get a new one. All right. If I pressed on yes. It's gonna say interaction field as well, but it's gonna do it's gonna edit the embed and put another button. But let's check if there is an error here. No, oh yeah, I forgot. So I said this is gonna be URL, so I need to set a URL. Set URL is gonna be https youtube.com slash ultra x1. Alright? Because the style is URL, so I need to set a URL. So, smart. I'll press on yes. Alright, let's see what happens. Direction field, any kind of errors. Both URL custom ID. The custom ID and URL cannot be specified. Alright, let me remove the ID. Probably the URL style cannot have a ID, so they are pretty good at saying errors, like if there is an error it will, it will, they will explain they are good. So as you can see it changed the embed and the button, but it says interaction field. How do I make it not say that by just put it button.defair and now it's gonna work. So. Let me try it out. Yes. And it doesn't say anything if I pressed on subscribe. As you can see, it got me to my channel over here. Alright. So. Now, I want to make something if someone said no. So, if button.id is equal, equal to 2. 2 was the ID of the button saying no. Alright, first I want a button dot defair and then I want it to send a button dot channel dot send I want it to send something like uh Alright you're stupid Alright Or we can actually uh, put the person who clicked it as well so let me check here, clicker, all right, button clicker, so I'm going to put different quotation, button dot clicker dot user dot, let's say tag, all right, and uh, let me put here comma, and yeah. So now both buttons should be working. So if I said no, all right, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna read that. And if I press yes, it gonna do this. So uh, if you got any uh, question, ma make sure to check out our Discord server link in the description. And uh, if you need more help, uh, you can maybe check their official server. You'll find it in the documentations. All right. And I'm also there in the server, here, alright? So that was the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it, and ciao!